guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this beaded baby gecko or salamander, whatever you want to call it. I call it salamander, but it's up to you. Um, here is what it looks like when it's drawn out. It, it's only 23 beads in total, so that's really good. Um, and here it looks like I just laid out the beads so you can see my pattern, what I've done. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the video. Yeah. The thing is, is that please check out my other beaded Cre cre creations that I've done. Um, I've done a flower and a star, and this is my third. So thank you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed and how to make this. Also, been needing some yarn to weave your to weave it inside and out the beads, or you can also use whatever other string you want to use. I just use yarn, but it's up to you. Again, take your yarn, and I've taped my ends up so it's easier to weave them in and out of the beads, but it's up to you. And so to begin, you're going to take your first two beads, and to do this, you need to a whole length of string yarn, I show whatever, and loop it, and then fold it in half, and then have your two ends like so. This is probably way too much yarn, but it's okay. First step is to take your top two beads, which is for these two, and you're going to stick them both on one side of your string or your yarn or whatever you want to call it basically it doesn't really matter so stick them both both onto the yarn and I'll show you what you do after that the two beads on there like so take the other end and string it back through the opposite way so take it and string the string back through the beads so it's going like that so it's like that so you string it back through take the other end and string it back through the two beads and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards here's what it looks like and then you're just going to pull the two ends so that the beads go down to the very bottom of the yarn. Like so. Now, you're going to do that same thing, but with these three. So you're going to put on the three beads onto one of the sides of your yarn. Like so. And then you're going to string the other side back through those three beads. Like so, and then pull them down to the very end of the yarn. It should look something like this. So now you can take the two inside beads, but not the two leg beads, and you're going to do the same thing and string them on one side of the yarn, or whatever string you're using. The other side of the yarn and string them back through the beads, them down. Next up is the two legs, so I'm going to show you how to do that, and yeah. I'm going to take those two beads, and I'm going to do the lighter bead first, of course, because that's how I want it, and then to put on the darker bead, and then string them down to this side for me. So, next step is only string, so put, take a part of the two that you put on, and go back through that, the furthest one from the body. So for me, it's the tip one. So then put your yarn, of course, back through that one, only that single bead, and then I'll show you guys to do the same thing on the other side. Again, remember, only string through that one bead. And make sure that it's closest to the body when you do that. So then pull it through. Like that. And there you have it. Like that. And with the other leg, again, string on all your beads to that one side. If your yarn is fraying, twist it up and get it wet. And then string on that last other bead and string them all the way down to the bottom to the to the lizard head. Okay, so I messed up on in the video, so I'm gonna actually show you guys how to do the thing correctly. So if you guys were listening to my other part of my video, then disregard that and I'm gonna show you guys what to do. So I'm sorry about the whole confusion. Oops. Okay, so to do this, basically, so you have the lizard head and then the two arms. So basically, actually, you, so you pull apart the two, right? So, but then you're going to go through this one, the closest one to the body. Like that. So then your strings are back to the body part so that you can do... Whoops, so that you can do the other section. So it's right then and there. Like that. 
And then I'll show you guys to do on the same thing since I messed up. And I'll show you guys. So basically, so you have the two beads that you put on. You're going to string through. Whoops. You're string through this one. So you're going to skip that one and put the yarn through that bead and then pull tight. And make sure the beads are closer to the body so that you don't have as much time to do it. So then just string it up and put, put it next to the body. First set of legs on. So now you're going to take the next two beads, which is the two cinder beads, and string them on like you did with the head. So string those two beads on. Like so. And then take the other piece of yarn and string them back through those two beads. And pull them up to the body. To do it with the next two beads. And string them on. String them on to one side. And then put the other yarn through the two beads and then pull them up tight to those other two. Put them on. And then pull them through. through and then pull them up tight. So I don't want to show you guys the other two leg ones, so just follow along with this. So, I don't know if I got that video in or not, but, um, so you're going to take, so do the same thing that you do with the other two legs to right now. So basically string on the leg beads and do, and go, so go back and look at those other two so you can see how to do them. So yeah, I'll be back when I'm done. This is how it should look. And now we're going to do the tail. Do the same thing you do in the head, but just one beat. So stick the bead on. And then grab the other string. And again, slide it through like so. And pull the bead all the way down. And there you have tail. First bead for, for your tail. Do that with all of the beads you have. And you'll have your gecko. Now my beaded baby gecko is done, as you can see. And now you're just going to tie off the two ends off of the yarn. So tie the two ends. So take the two ends, like so, and tie them. Baby B, get B to Gecko. It's so cute and so adorable. I love him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you guys stay tuned for more of my beaded geckos on DIY crafts. So thank you guys so much. And yeah. He's so cute, and I love him. He's adorable. And you can do as many as you want. You can do small beads, big beads, medium beads, of course. <laughs> and just make a lot of these little guys, and they turn out adorable. And they're adorable. So, yeah. So, make him, because he says, please, thank you, and subscribe to my channel. So that, yeah, that'd be really nice of you to do that. So, thank you, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. So, bye-bye. Bye. Toodles. Puss.